How's it going, everyone? This is Trainer Car, and you're going to be watching another Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire Wi-Fi Pokemon Battle video. Thank you for watching. If you enjoy this video, hit that like button and subscribe for more content. But today's opponent is going to be against Elena or Angel of the Night 091. What a fantastic battle this was. This was a battle that I was on Angel of the Night 091 stream and I managed to battle him. And this turned out to be a great battle. But before we start here, I just want to go over the team concept that I brought here. You see that I'm packing a really powerful team, just because I have a Heatran, a Dragonite, a Gengar, Samurott, a Mega Gardevoir, and a Primate. So yes, everything is really powerful. The only physical wall or special wall is Heatran, because this, this particular Heatran has the move Toxic, and it can just hit almost everything neutrally, except for just a couple of Pokemon there. But this Heatran is not really offensive, but everything else is. The main goal in this video is to have Dragonite Sweep, because this particular Dragonite has the move Extreme Speed, alongside Multi-Scale, the ability of Dragonite, and Dragon Dance Outrage Earthquake. So if we can set up with Dragonite, I can actually hit everything on my opponent's side really hard. I know from experience that my plus one Dragonite can actually one hit kill almost everything. The main threats on my opponent's side are really just the Garchomp, the Kingler, or the Hoopa Unbound. Now you'll see Hoopa in a couple of my uploads here because Hoopa is a legendary Pokemon that's been released in Japan. So, I mean, just be on the lookout for Hoopa because Hoopa is going to be really popular once it really is released. So, yep, that's my analysis here. I just have to be careful of whether the Garchomp is really Scarf or not. It could be Mega, or maybe the Kingler can be Banded, and the Hoopa Unbound is really powerful too. But the main goal of this video, guys, is to have Dragonite Sweep. So, are you guys ready for an epic fight? Alright, here we go! Hope you all enjoy! Let's do this! Alright Pokemon trainers, it is time for the match between Trainer Connor and Angel of the Night 091. So I begin with my Heatran and my opponent leads off with a Shiny Rosary. Now he switches out, goes to the Magmortar, probably expecting the Magma Storm and that's okay with me. I wanted to force him to do that. Now I could have gone for a Toxic expecting this, but I had to make that safe play, you know? So we trap him in, he goes for a Focus Blast here, which... That doesn't work out too well here because he actually hits it and he one shocks my Heatran. Which is weird because either, either the Magwartar expects or he's Wise Glasses because I EV'd that he can specifically live special hits. So that's pretty weird. Now I go with the Victor earlier, went for an earthquake, and we have to see what item the Kingler is holding here. So based on how much that did, the Crab Hammer to my TC100, the Samurai, I know that thing's banded until I find out that he switches up moves and goes for X Scissor. So jeez, you're powerful, Kingler. And on top of that, he is definitely physically defensive because he took that close combat pretty well. And 
he is carrying the Rocky helmet. Really unfortunate. Although, this will give me a choice here. Or actually, this gives me a free opportunity to set up here. But my opponent's choice was to either stay in or to stay out. So, he decides to stay in to break my Volkai scale. That's what he chooses to do. And then I can set up even more because he's going to either stay in again or switch out. So I was in a really good position here. Now I have a plus two bar fire to my, to my attack and to my speed. So we can definitely one hit KO a lot of Pokemon here. The way he's bringing in the Rosary right here, I thought he was carrying a Focus Sash, but he's apparently not carrying that item. He probably bought the wrong item. Now here is Hoopa Unbound. You guys know that Hoopa Unbound is insanely powerful, but if you deal with it correctly, you don't have to worry about it. So Dragonite is able to KO that Hoopa Unbound. My Lumberry activates when that confusion, which is very nice. And I have Earthquake for Raikou here. I like Raikou, but I have to win this match because I feel very confident. So we're able to take care of the Raikou. Now here's where I make the mistake of the battle. I switch out. That was extremely unfortunate because, yes, I do end up dodging the Dragon Claw because of Gargobor's fairy typing, but like, it's a mega Garchomp and he actually outspeeds everything on my team. Now you're wondering, well, you already set up with your Dragonite, but when you switch out, your modifiers are gone. So we end up staying and going for that mega evolution, but you know what? He has Iron Head, as I predicted. I'm going to TC 100, hoping to take a hit. But the power of Mega Garchomp prevails here because he goes for a Dragon Claw. And I go in the Dragonite. I have extreme speed to show him. It's a priority move, so I'll go first. But that's not going to do anything because of that bulk of Mega Garchomp. And that's Dragonite gone. Now, surprisingly, I outspeed with my Gengar. I'm not scarfed or anything, so maybe Gengar is really fast. Had I landed some damage with some other Pokemon, or had I lived a hit, I would have probably KO'd that Garchomp. But guess what? I lose the match. Just because I end up switching out from my Dragonite to my Gardevoir. But that was still a fun match. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like and subscribe and stay tuned for some more Wi-Fi battles in the near future. Alright, have a great day, trainers. Goodbye.